So the traditional teaching is that monocular diplopia is not neuron, it's in your eye, and that binocular diplopia is neurop because it's misalignment of your eyes, either from nerve, muscle, or junction. However, there are some conditions where it's monocular and it's still neurop. So when would someone see two or more of an image from brain? That's the question. And the reason it's important is monocular diplopia is usually because of something wrong with the image refraction it's not clear, and so you get one image here, and you get one image that's <coughs> over here. And when you get those two images, they don't, they don't align, and you get monocular diplopia. And that's usually from dry eye, or cornea, or maybe your lens, or something wrong with your retina. So these are monocular causes. However, it's only not neurop and monocular if it's unilateral. So if it's unilateral and monocular, that for sure is in your eye, because brain things have to be both eyes. And if you put a pinhole up, it'll block all the rays except for that one, and it'll eliminate the monocular diplopia. So what if it's bilateral, and you put the pinhole, and it doesn't go away? Well then, that one, bilateral and no pinhole improvement, could still be neurop. And the way that happens is, you're making two images in your brain. And that means you have polyopia. You have two images in your brain. And so if you have an occipital lobe or visual <coughs> association cortex lesion, it can cause two images to occur. And one of the things that can make the two images is if it's a repeating image. So that thing is called palinopsia. So you see one image, the house, and then you see the house again, and then the house again, because you're unable to release that image and so it's supposed to go into short-term memory and then purge out but you see the image over and over and over again and so that palinopsia will be bilateral they'll see the double image or triple image in both eyes if you cover one eye it'll still be there if you cover the other eye it'll still be there if you put the pin all up it won't go away so both cerebral polyopia and palinopsia are brain representations of duplicated image and the key in differentiating features are it's the same image over and over again all the images are clear it's often more than one image not just two they're not overlapping on each other one blurry and one clear pinhole doesn't make it go away and they have usually have some other neurologic signs or symptoms so it'd be unlikely to just be one one symptom so we're going to do a visual field on this person make sure they don't have homonymous hemianopsia and you're gonna try and differentiate whether it is a trailing after image and whether the image is repeating rather than just duplicated. If the image is repeating, the palinopsia, it can repeat at the same time or it can appear later. So you're looking at one thing, a window, and all of a sudden the door appears in there. So these are palinopsias and polyopsias on a cerebral basis. Now binocular is a little harder because binocular means your eyes aren't aligned. And so when would binocular not be neurop? Well, there are some things in your eye that can make you get the image disparate. And if the two images are not exactly the same, then you won't be able to fuse the images. So the images can be different quality, they can be different sizes, one could be bigger, one could be smaller, or they <coughs> might not be falling on the same part of your retina because you have anomalous retinal correspondence where you don't have the two corresponding parts of the retina matching anymore. So even though the image is falling on the same part of what used to be the same part of the retina, if it's pulled up or pulled down, now the two images are not actually aligned because your fovea has been pulled away. Well, what would pull your fovea away? A scar, epiretinal membrane, traction band that pulls the fovea away. So now the fovea in one eye is not aligned with the fovea in the other eye. And so that's gonna cause central versus peripheral rivalry. And what that means is, you're, if your two foveas aren't aligned on the target, even if your periphery is aligned, your center won't be aligned. And then so you'll get, you won't be able to fuse the image. The other way this can happen is if the one image is bigger or smaller. So if the smaller image would be micropsia, the bigger image would be macropsia. 
And if you get one big and one little image, you can't fuse those images either. So these would be binocular diplopia caused by either anisoconia, different size image, <coughs> central or peripheral rivalry from displacement of the fovea, and those are in your eye instead of neurop. So even though the traditional teaching is probably still true, monocular is not neurop and binocular is neurop, there are some exceptions and you need to know them.